Hey guys, wanted to record this one little quick video of um, a new trick I found while playing and testing around with Play for Food of Deathslinger. I found out that if you hit the obsession with your spear. Hang on, third chase? Okay, cool. Yep, ignore that. Okay. If you hit the spear, it ends the chase immediately. You hold the survivor hostage for a little bit, waiting for the timer to cool down. It begins another chase immediately after. Walk away from them. Go into another chaser of a survivor. You immediately get a second stack of play for food. Which can be invaluable in chase, seeing that Death Slinger is a 110% speed killer. That extra 10% speed is invaluable because then you can catch up. And you didn't have to play around as a loop, you just mindlessly walk around it. Which negates one of his biggest weaknesses. Which is being slow, which can catch a lot of survivors off guard. Because they won't expect a fast death slinger. They will, however, expect you to have saved the best for last. Which you can have and use in this build. God damn it, love the bots. Which you can use in this build to benefit no matter what survivor you're chasing. Again, just wanted to make a really quick video. Come on, Yinjin. Let's go. Love it. Boop. Okay, so... I think that's all I wanted to show you guys. And with this, I'll just hook Yinjin. And she'll say goodbye to everybody. Say goodbye, Yinjin. Excellent. Alright, later.